Let's talk about Lane Kiffin. I, of course, massive fan, both of us, massive fans of Lane and what they're doing there. The offense, uh, I mean, just genius. Offensive design is genius. They put up points on everybody last year. It was awesome. They have developed Matt Corral into kind of a legit NFL caliber guy. Well, yeah, he's the best quarterback in the SEC. I, I'm going to go with either him or JT Daniels, but he's he's head and shoulders better than JT Daniels. It's not close either. It's just not close. I there's just, no I, there's I, no numbers you can give me on JT Daniels to show that he's close to what Matt Corral is. I, I worry about the interceptions. That's that's fine. You can look so. at one stat. I'll look at all of the rest of them. Okay. JT okay. Daniels played like three games last year. He didn't have a lot of interceptions because he didn't take a lot of snaps. Agreed. Agreed. I just I, I worry about the gunslinger mentality. Like I do think he's fantastic. Um, but either way, they lose. Uh, they lose more and Yaboa, the the two top wide receivers that they had. And Yaboa was a tight end. But either way, running backs Ely and Connor are back. Uh, four out of five offensive linemen are back. They are going to find skill guys. Like Ole Miss always oh, has yeah. wide receivers that pop up. So I don't think that's going to be any kind of an issue. Defense was a disaster, but this was the third defense coordinator in three years there. Uh, they they didn't have install time for DJ Durkin. They they were trying to install, you know, the third different scheme. And these guys did not know what to do with it. And, and they don't have the dudes on defense. No, right they just don't have the talent either. Yeah. Uh, Last I think, year's team was the least talented football team Lane Kiffin will ever coach at Ole Miss. I tend to agree. I've, I've, I've said that from, from all along. This will be the best Ole Miss team since Hugh Freeze. True. Easily. Fact. Easily. Win total is 7.5. To go over is minus 125. To go under is minus 105. I'm rolling over, baby. Yeah, I'm going over. I'm rolling over. I think that they are going to smoke some of these teams, and they're going to be in a lot of shootouts. That's right. Scoring won't be the problem. Hard to to get blowed out when you hang 45-50. You are so (laughs) right. All right, so there's one game i got to ask, because we're not going to ask you to break down the whole schedule. Okay. Do they beat Liberty? Yes. I think so. I think, I think so they too. got so many more. I think athletes. that game is going to be unbelievable, though. And if, well, you told me not to break down the schedule, but they play at Auburn, so they've they've got LSU. That's the only one at I Auburn, care about. and then Liberty, and then A and M is right behind it. Yeah. So you've got like an no, SEC smorgasbord. That that's a four game stretch that nobody in the country wants to play. No, no, not at all. And my guy, they, they schedule Liberty as like a homecoming thing. Yes, like. And now your your ex coach, the best coach that you've had there in however long in the history of the school. Come on, uh, now. Come I don't on know, now. man. Johnny yeah. Vaught was oh, all right. Like, yeah, go back to the forties. Congratulations. <laughs> Nobody okay. watching this was in alive the then to me even make an argument of if that's right or not. Congratulations. I would say that's that what Freeze. I would say that Freeze is better than Cutcliffe, right? Yes. So, Cutcliffe was a one trick pony. Cutcliffe was brought in to bring Eli. Think about the the coaches they've had there. They were not good. Coach O, like all these guys that have that have gone on to be better elsewhere. Yeah, but Cutcliffe like, wasn't better elsewhere either. No, no, he. I, I would say that he did. Tommy more. Tupperville was much better at Auburn. I think Cutcliffe was more appreciated at Duke than he was at Ole Miss. Okay, that's so. all right. If he left there and went to Vanderbilt, he would have still been more appreciated. This is true because he went to a school that doesn't care about football. You're going over the seven and a half too, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. It's Finally, my fault. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.